Mozart 250 project uh, is following the life and music of Mozart 250 years after it happened. We started three years ago when uh, a very young Mozart came and visited London um, and now we've progressed. Uh, so he's visited Europe now and he's on his way back to his hometown of Salzburg. We've been using some of the music that he wrote at this time to inspire us to write our own operas. And it's really special because the children are the same age that Mozart would have been, so they can really empathise with that. It's a really encompassing project. Um, the children have visited the Victoria and Albert Museum, where they learnt all about fashion and transport and music in the 18th century by visiting the European galleries there. And it was lovely because a lot of the children had never visited the museum before and they were very eager to go back with their families again. What have you liked about the V&A so far? I liked all the interesting artefacts and things from the past and I really enjoyed learning more about Mozart's family. The thing that I find interesting is the sculptures and, uh, and then the witches, uh, um, witches uh, suit. Um, is there anything you have you don't you didn't know before but have learned then? Yeah, there's there's a lot. Like for example, um, that Mozart has a sister called Nana, and his father was called Leopold. We've done uh, an 18th century hat making workshop where the children have made their own hats, uh, which they'll be wearing as part of their costume for the performances. My name is Martha. My name is Dita. My name is Sita. And we are the witches. And of course there have been the music workshops too. We've had instrumentalists and musicians in every workshop um, and the children particularly liked the bassoon and the harpsichord I think. And we've been helping them write their own operas uh, which have been inspired by music Mozart wrote 250 years ago when he was around the same age as the kids but they've also been um, brilliant at coming up with their own melodies and very witty, funny texts as well. So it's really, the creative process has come from them and that's really special. For me, these projects are much more than just about the music. It's about the confidence they give the children, the team building skills that they work on, um, and the aspirations they can raise. So children think, gosh, if, if I can write an opera, what else can I do? And it was really special because actually at the beginning of this particular project, a few of the children were quite hesitant and weary about it. There was quite a lot of, oh, the opera's boring and oh, I don't want to do this. Um, and I love that because it's a real challenge to get them on board and to change their perceptions. And I think we can safely say that we've achieved that in this project. So today is the day of our grand finale of the Mozart 250 Education Project 2017. And we're here in the Paul Robeson Theatre in the Hounslow Arts Centre. Uh, which we're very excited to be in. It's an amazing venue. Uh, I think the children are going to absolutely love performing in a real theatre um, in front of hopefully a packed audience. I think it is going to be packed, which is really great. We've got all our costumes ready, props, and the theatre is being set up behind me with our musicians. The children have been working really hard over the last two weeks with their teachers, putting finishing touches on their operas and I can't wait to see what they're looking like today. We've got a long day of rehearsals ahead of us, um, which I think is really important because it will um, sort of gear children up to the final event and give them a taster of what it's really like to be a professional um, musician or opera singer 
um, and hopefully they will feel like all the hard work pays off this afternoon when they perform their final operas to a packed audience here. I like to think Mozart will be very impressed by our two operas that we've got here. Uh, one is written about him, the young Mozart, who comes to the rescue of a poor boy, Tom, who is very ill in 18th century London, and his dying wish is to hear Mozart play again. And Mozart comes along and he saves the day, which is really lovely. And it's really nice to think of uh, Mozart sitting here and watching this opera about him, inspired by his music. We're in the court, we're in the court, princess to the left, prince to the right. We're in the court, we're in the court, princess to the left, prince to the right. Wonderful music, listen to the child. What a glorious party, what a glorious party. Um, well, it's now after the show, and uh, the, the kids are going home, and I think there's been, it's been a thrilling day. It's been a huge learning curve, getting used to a new space, putting all the performances together, people all meeting together, and I think it was a cracking show, and I think everyone is thrilled and excited, and I think the kids uh, probably well, I just really excelled themselves. They really excelled themselves today, and um, it was great to be part of this project. Oh.